The replay at Portman Road still does not resolve the tie. However, it is thanks to some brilliant saves by Phil Parks in the early stages that the Hammers remain in touch. This save from Davare being only surpassed by the cat-like reactions which deny Dazel just minutes later. After the break, Park shines again, this time thwarting Zondervan, as neither side can make the vital breakthrough. The score is still nil-nil, as the teams go into extra time. Ward's corner, Gale's flicked on header, and Cotty volleys just over the bar. Ipswich finally took the lead in the third minute of extra time, Dazelle beating Parks with a low hard shot. From then on though, it was West Ham all the way. Then in the 16th minute, Gale chips a great ball into space. Paris chases, and this is what happens. Bang! Tony Cotty makes no mistake with his first time strike. Ipswich tried desperately to get back in command. But it was West Ham United who showed the class. Alan Devonshire here begins a run which is true England class. That could so easily have been the winner. The final score remains West Ham 1, Ipswich 1. Ipswich won the toss for venue and 48 hours later West Ham play again at Portman Road. A frozen snow-covered pitch provides the stage for episode 3 of this enthralling drama. As you can see, conditions were difficult but all 22 players battled away bravely. George Paris's cross, Jeff Pike goes close with this effort. And Ipswich goalkeeper Paul Cooper has to be alert to save from Gale. Again, there is no score in 90 minutes play, and so the tie moves into extra time. McAvenny worms his way through, and a snapshot by Dickens is caught by Cooper. Brennan is the shooter here, and Parks is equal to it. Then, in the 21st minute, comes the decisive blow. It's a typical Hammers move, built up from the back and worked with patience and skill. Paris up to Gale, inside to McAvenny, back to Martin, then switched out to Orr. Pass inside to Dickens, whose deft flick is pounced upon by Tony Cotty who weaves between Butcher and Brennan to beat the advancing Cooper with his well-timed shot. The Ipswich Marathon is over. West Ham have won. The prize is a fifth round home tie against Manchester United. Confident but lacking in match practice, having gone a month without a game, the Hammers started well against United and Cotty was unlucky with this early effort. Yeah! 
It was the 25th minute when first blood was drawn. Devonshire, the instigator, Cotty the magician, and McAvenny the poacher. 1-0 to the Hammers. Upton Park went wild. Alan Devonshire takes a free kick. And Gale blasts it over the bar. The quality and excitement of this pulsating cup tie was intoxicating. Just sit back and thrill to the highlights. to the second half now and Manchester United raise their game. Sweeps this ball upfield. In comes Dev. Another mazy run. And nearly the second goal for the Hammers. In the 73rd minute, Stapleton headed a dramatic equaliser. Then, United withstood a tremendous onslaught as West Ham threw everything at them. Another ward cross, and this time Alvin Martin's on the end of it. Just watch the superb skills of Frank McAvenny. Out toward. A chip into the center. And Alan Dickens throws himself full length. But the game remained locked at 1-1 and the Hammers were forced to replay at Old Trafford. There they won a stirring game 2-0 before crashing out of the cup three days later at Sheffield Wednesday. Beaten by the ridiculous schedule. And so we return to First Division football. The Hammers had suffered a psychological backlash from that traumatic FA Cup exit and undeserved defeats at Arsenal and Aston Villa followed. But after a rousing 4-0 win at Chelsea, confidence was fired for the home derby against Spurs. Keeper Clements is equal to the shot. Then midfielder Dickens treads the ball through for Cotty, and a stunning finish from the England under 21 striker in the 17th minute. Ardilas headed an equaliser five minutes later, then with half time approaching. Ward swings over a corner. Gale flicks on, and as Cotty's shot is blocked, McAvenny sweeps the ball into the Tottenham net. In the second half, Alan Devonshire. Ward. A flick on there, and McAvenny is 
only inches away from making contact with that loose ball. through to Matheveni a great chip but the woodwork saves Spurs West Ham continued to a flow Ward through to McAvenny. Another great save from Clements. Final score, West Ham 2, Tottenham 1. The visit of Sheffield Wednesday provided a contrast in styles, and although Frank McAvenny's sixth-minute goal secured the points, there could have been more, as these clips will show. Pike is the unlucky man here. And young Tony Cotty gets too much air under this shot. The 21 striker is also unlucky with a cross shot. But the score remains West Ham United 1, Sheffield Wednesday 0.